Let's try some problems that involve the chain rule along with the product rule and quotient rule. Here's our first one. We want to find dy dx if y is equal to x squared times the quantity x cubed plus 5x raised to the tenth power. Well, this looks like the product of two functions, this function x squared and this function. So I'm going to differentiate first of all using the product rule. So I'll take the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. In the meantime in there I'll probably use the chain rule also. So let's see. y prime will be equal to the first x squared times the derivative of the second. Now when I'm differentiating that, that's all I'm thinking about. And you know how to differentiate this using the chain rule. I'll take the exponent out in front. I'll have 10, don't change the base, x cubed plus 5x raised to a power 1 less, and then by the chain rule I have to differentiate the base. So I'll differentiate x cubed plus 5x, so I'll get 3x squared plus 5 plus, now I have to take the second times the derivative of the first. Well the second is going to be x cubed plus 5x all to the tenth times the derivative of the first, which will just be 2x. Now I think that went off the screen, so hang on, I'm going to move the camera for a minute. Okay, there we go. You can see the x cubed plus 5x to the tenth, that's the second times the derivative of the first, which is just going to be 2x. So, first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first, and in the meantime, when I differentiated this right here, I had to use that chain rule. 10, don't change the base, power 1 less, now differentiate the base. The derivative of x cubed plus 5x is 3x squared plus 5. Okay, the rest is just going to be simplification. Let's just see if we can do a little bit first. I don't want to take a lot of time with that, but let's just see. Looks like I can take out a 2. I can take out an x, and I can take out x cubed plus 5x to the ninth. So let's do that. 2x times x cubed plus 5x to the ninth times, okay, what's left right here when I take that out? Let's see, I'll have a 5x times, that's gone, 3x squared plus 5. Plus, when I take x cubed plus 5x out of here, let's see, I took the 2x out, I'll take x cubed plus 5x to the ninth out, what I'll have left is just x cubed plus 5x. Okay, so is that right? That times that, this times this, this times this. Yeah, I think I'm okay right there. Now, I can simplify in here by multiplying this out, adding similar terms. I won't go any farther than that. I think you can do that part. The main thing is this derivative. First times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. Okay, let's do another problem now that involves the chain rule and the quotient rule. And this is a problem I did previously, so let's take a look at that. Here we have h of x equal the square root of the quantity x squared plus 9 over x plus 3. So I want to differentiate using my chain rule. I'm going to think of this as this quantity to the 1 half power. So let's find this derivative. h prime of x will be equal to now remember, I'm thinking of the exponent as being one-half, all right? So one-half times that base, which I'm not going to change, x squared plus 9 over x plus 3, to a power one less. Well, one-half minus one, or one-half subtract one, is going to be negative one-half. And now I differentiate the base. Okay, that base I'm going to differentiate. And look, that base is a quotient. So I have to use my quotient rule. So the denominator x plus 3 times the derivative of the numerator 2x minus the numerator which is x squared plus 9 times the derivative of the denominator which is 1 and I think I'm okay I didn't run off the board nope all divided by the denominator squared x plus 3 quantity squared okay so there's the derivative that's correct we've uh, differentiated using the chain rule I took my exponent out in front, kept the base the same, subtracted one from the exponent, then I differentiate the base. Okay, well if you just had that problem as a derivative, that's no problem for you. It's just the quotient rule. It's simple. Denominator, derivative of the numerator, subtract, numerator, derivative of the denominator, divided by the denominator squared. Now let's see if we can simplify a little bit. Uh, how about this? One half times, I'm going to make this a positive exponent. So I'll take the reciprocal 
and then raise everything to the positive one half power. All right, so what do we have here? Two x squared plus six x minus x squared minus nine, all divided by x plus three quantity squared. All right, so one half. Uh, let's see, I'm going to divide this up into two separate square roots, so I'm going to say one-half times x plus 3 to the one-half over x squared plus 9 to the one-half, just in case I have some common factors. 2x squared minus x squared is going to give me just x squared, 6x minus 9, all that's over x plus 3 quantity squared. So again, I would look in the back of the book here, see what kind of answer they have. Do they leave it with the square roots? I have a common factor of x plus 3 here. Here it's to the 1 half, here it's to the 2. So I could get rid of this one here and write this as x plus 3 to the 3 halves when I subtract 1 half from this 2. That doesn't factor, so don't be tempted to factor it. x squared plus 9 to the 1 half, put that back in square root form, square root of x squared plus 9. Don't be tempted to write that as x plus 3. The square root of a sum is not the sum of the square roots. So anyways, there's a look at using the chain rule to differentiate some pretty complicated expressions right here and to do it pretty easily. Okay, let's try another one here. I have y equal e to the x cosine x. Okay, we'll differentiate. Let's see, dy dx. Well, I differentiate e to anything. It just is e to that thing. And then I have to differentiate that exponent. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to differentiate x cosine x, and now I'm going to use the product rule again. So I'll take the first x times the derivative of the second minus sine x plus the second cosine x times the derivative of the first x, which is 1. So there I have the derivative of e to the u is e to the u times du dx, and that du dx has that uh, product rule in it. First x times the derivative of the second minus cosine x plus the second minus sine x plus the second cosine x times the derivative of the first which is 1. Okay, I won't simplify that any further. You can look in the back of the book, see what the answer looks like, and see if you can make this look like that. Let's try another problem. Okay, this time we have y equal x e to the negative x squared, so now I have the product rule first, so I have to do that. First derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. So let's see what we get. y prime will be x, that's the first. Now I have to differentiate e to the negative x squared. Well, that'll be e to the negative x squared times the derivative of negative x squared, which is going to be negative 2x. So all that is is the first times the derivative of the second. Now I need the second times the derivative of the first. So the second function is e to the negative x squared times the derivative of the first, which is 1. Uh, let's see, I can simplify this a little bit. Maybe I'll take the e to the negative x squared out in front. If I do that, I get e to the negative x squared times, what do I have here? Uh, 1, let's put that 1 first, minus 2x squared. Okay, so that's that derivative, product rule first, and then in the meantime, the chain rule. Let's look at one more problem. Okay, we're going to run out of time here, so I just want to do this one real quickly. Differentiate cosine squared t plus cosine t squared. Okay, I differentiate this first one, 2 cosine to the first t, then I differentiate the base, get minus sine t. So that's the um, chain rule. I want to take the exponent out in front, don't change the base, power one less, differentiate the base. The second one is cosine t squared. So I differentiate cosine, I get negative sine t squared. And then by the chain rule, I differentiate t squared to get 2t. The rest, that is just simplifying what I get. So, a real good problem to practice right here. That exponent 2, that's the cosine of t quantity squared. This is the cosine of just t squared. So, you differentiate them a little bit differently. Anyways, there's a look at the chain rule along with the product rule and quotient rule.